previously on Red Dead Redemption 2. Make that quick and join us on there. Hey, go on! Get on there! Faster! All yours, Captain. Go on ahead. Everybody stay calm and Shoot don't her. you get shot! Please. Go! Everything you got! Money! Valuable! Just put the there you go. Let's make this Maybe quick, what people! You got, come mister. on! We ain't leaving until this bag's full. Please, please, don't help. Please, don't help. I ain't got nothing. Wanna have a little chat with Romeo and Juliet here? Don't molest me, please. Don't do it. I'm begging you. Please. I'm not going to go with these two, will you, Mr. M? Please, please, don't do it. Come on. Empty your pockets. In the bag, everything you got. Keep it coming. Don't be shy. People like you make me sick. You do seem to think we're playing games. Nothing else. Make me hurt you. Come on. I want to count to three. One. God damn it. Sick is better than dead, lady. Thank you for my goddamn patience. Let's just do what he says. So this can be over. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Let's make this quick. Give me everything you've got. No, nah. huh? you go ahead and look sure for the baggage that? car. You Quick shot this son of a bitch. Why are you wasting my time here? Quick, come on! Please, please, don't help me. Everything you got. Money, please, please. We ain't leaving until this bag's full. You won't get it, damn shit. Take a deep breath. Let me hand you over to my friend. Give me all your money. Quick. Please don't help me. We're on the clock. Don't. Honey, no! Son of a bitch. Come on, cop it up, people. Don't be shy. Everything you got. Let's go. Don't do anything. Gonna need all your money, my friend. You got a big problem. Empty your pockets, mister, and you can be on your way. I can handle this from here. You should check on Sean. Okay. Pay me what you got, okay. mister. You won't get her. What is it? You all right? You hear me? Fill the baggage car. Christ's sake, you ain't even taking a look yet? There's probably something in here, Arthur. <laughs> Twice a chance of hitting someone. <laughs> Very funny. These folks are rich, all right. Oh, oh. I'm gonna have a right old lump on me head. At least you ain't got a hole in it. Are those tennis rackets in there? Hosh bastards. Just keep your eyes peeled. 
I'm doing me best, all right. I know, that's what's worrying me. Some decent stuff. Come on, we should get out of here. All right, we should probably be going now. We'll take that. Looking good in here. Arthur, we've got a problem. There's two assholes on horses. How many you say? I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, we're fighting. Marston, Smith, get ready. You men come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way neither you get killed. Goddamn liberties. Eh? There's a few more of them torn enough. <sighs> Man, my big mouth. Okay, let's deal with them. We won't tell you again. There they are! Go get out on the left! <laughs> Just get back to the business. Clear, fellas. Whoa! Whoa! Ho -ho! <laughs> that was fun, boys. Real fun. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. Shut <laughs> up. At least we made some money. Hey, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so. I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Yeah. Five minutes without a fan badgering me? Hey. Ah, oh, ah. God. Hello, chum. Chum? Do you want an autograph or a photograph? I'm sorry? People often get nervous, but there's really no need to. I I'm just a, just a normal guy who, well, happens to be very famous. Okay. Who are you? Jeremy Gill. Who? The famous fisherman. I've written a lot of books. I'm in the newspaper all the time. Here's one from the new Hanover Gazette from a few years back. And this 
is a book I wrote. Huh? I wrote it. Good for you. You really don't know who I am? Ah. Oh, well. <sighs> nice to meet you. You too. Arthur. Sure you don't want a photo? Uh, not right now. Oh. You know, mothers, they often offer me their daughters. Just for a photograph? <laughs> no! To marry. But I say no. I'm married to the fish. Huh. So, you're famous for fishing? Very. And that pays well? Uh, pretty well. What I mostly do is send fans stuffed fish. Stuffed fish? Yeah. Here, let me show you. Come with me. <laughs> and you're selling these? Yes. How many do you want? If you get three, we could do a photograph. Together. Like actual friends. No, I'm fine. It's, it's sort of ridiculous. Listen, jump. People love it. And I could sell even more fish if I add them. <laughs> it helps them to know that out there, there's some man fighting with Neptune on a daily basis and winning. Okay. But I can't catch enough of them. And there's really good money in this. I'll fish a little. You do? Well, in that case, send them to me. Uh, of course, uh, not if they're too rotten. Do you like that bass? I'd sell this for... Fifty dollars. I'd give you fifteen. Send you fish. Ooh, my card and a map. Well, maybe I shall. <laughs> Only the decent ones. They have to be at least 24 inches in length and 10 pounds in weight. No one wants to imagine Jeremy Gill catching a tiddler. There's no money in tiddlers. So I hear. Twisted my ankle something fierce. Think you could give me a ride? Yeah, sure. Hop on. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. You know Emerald Ranch? Yeah. Mind taking me there? Sure. Glad I ran into you. Huh. I raised that horse, you know. Raised it since it was just a foal. Oh, uh, losing a horse is hard. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, that horse did right by me. Better than my husband, truth be told. That fool, always complaining. But does he do something about it? Man barely lifts his hand to wave the flies away, aside from to lift a drink, of course. Marriage, for me, has been nothing but trouble. But Biscuit, he was a fine animal. Loyal, smart, brave. Didn't take no guff, not from no one. Had one of them mountain boys pull a gun on me once? I was riding up near the Dakota and had stopped by a nice warm patch. Must have dozed off, but I wake up and find some nasty piece of work pointing a rusty shotgun straight at me. Well, he gets wheezing on and I must have made some sort of noise because the next thing I know, Biscuit had nipped his ear clean off. Kicked his hide too as he was hollering away. Didn't think a man could run so fast. Oh yeah? Yeah. A good laugh on that one. <laughs> I tell the husband, what does he do? Should have never gone over there, honey, he says. Gee, thanks. <coughs> so, you live at Emerald Ranch then? For the time being. I was looking for work. They was looking for some help with the gardens. If I waited any longer for my husband to put food on the table, I'd have died of starvation. I'll be moving on soon, though. Emerald Ranch, well, it's a strange place. How so? The owner's a mean bastard. Strange, too. Delights in bullying folk. 
there's a daughter, but she never leaves the house. You can see her in the window sometimes. When I asked about her, everybody told me to leave it alone. Found an old saloon there, all shut down now. But I went in to have a look, and there's bullet holes, old blood stains. Something definitely happened there, but I couldn't figure it. Just an uncomfortable feeling to the place. Either way, it's time I left. Especially now I lost that poor horse. I'll collect my belongings and be on my way. Oh, we're getting close now. Here we go. This is great. This was kind of you, mister. Please, take this as my way of thanking you. <gasps> Appreciate it. <sighs> what a lousy day. Let's go, boy. Yep. William. Arthur. You familiar with the study of plants, my friend? Familiar ain't quite the word I'd use. Well, let me tell you. This great earth beneath our feet can provide everything man ever needs. But we've only reached a tiny bit of its potential. You see, there are thousands, maybe millions of plants all across this vast country we share. The mountains, the plains, the swamps. I mean to explore them all. To know all of nature's bounty and all of her wonder, if I can. Sure. But I'm only one man. Would you consider helping me with gathering herbs for my studies? Why? Knowledge. Kindness. Beauty. Well, I'm ignorant, ugly, and nasty. <laughs> well, let's see if maybe we can do something about that. I'll see. I'm looking for a plant called yarrow. You can distinguish it by its red flowers. It shouldn't be too hard to find. They thrive out in the open under direct sunlight. Come on! Hey! Now. Hey! That's my horse! Come on! Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Enough! 
This is uh, very kind of you. No, no, no! Enjoy the peace and quiet. Okay, boy. Let's go. Morning, sir. Hang on. It's the law. Hands above your head. Did I stutter? Wish, wish. Move an inch and you're in the grave. Yeah! Away! <laughs> So, feeling better? How's the scar? I heal pretty fast. Lucky you. So you just lazing about, or you got any leads? I got something. You see them? Sure. Well, you see yourself as a shepherd now? Maybe. Come on. Well, where exactly are we going? Collect something. Help us get some sheep. Uh, you know, that attempt to seem all enigmatic and interesting, that might work for Dutch, but for you, it just makes you look stupid. Come along. You'll see. That train job was a start, but we need more money. Until we can get back to Blackwater and collect. I'm here to tell you. If we try to collect that money anytime soon, it'll come with a noose. I was worried you'd say that. Hey, Dutch says that we... Dutch says a lot. That's his gift. Saying things. Oh, yeah? What do you mean by that? 
I was the prize pony once. Now I'm the workhorse. Listen, Dutch is... But... But, well, you was at that thing in Blackwater. Morning, we already seen Pinkerton's here. New century's coming. This life, this way, well, we're the last, I reckon. And we ain't long for it. Then that's the way it goes, I guess. Morning. For me, yes. All right. So where are we going? Just need to pick up something. There's a hitching post over there. Tether the horse and I'll meet you across the street. You're a troublemaker. Nah, I already Jeez, don't like how this is going. store. Yep. Can you, uh, head in, pick up the sniper rifle? I'll explain later. Oh, well, hello again. How can I help you today? Looking for a rifle? Something with a sight on it. Shouldn't be a problem. You want to see what we've got? It's all in the catalog here. That's over. Why couldn't you have done that? Done what? Bought that gun. I had a run in with that fella earlier. We ain't on the best of terms. You had a run in. I've had a run in with half that town. Calm down. It's done now, ain't it? Why are you being so cagey about all this? Always playing some goddamn game. Me? I ain't the one taking Jack on fishing trips. No, you ain't. If you say the boy ain't yours, what's the difference? You probably only run off again. Why are you so interested in my life? Ain't you got one of your own? Just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once, that's all I'm saying. It ain't that simple. You know that as well as anyone. Same as with you and that girl... What was her name, Mary? That was different. No, it ain't. Just the same. Anyway, for the love of God, will you tell me what you got me doing here before I turn around and hit the breeze? There's a herd of sheep coming down to auction from Emerald Ranch. Folk in town were saying the owner's trying to stamp out every farm from here to Ansburg. Yeah, I know that place. We can see from up here. Okay. I think that's them over there. The one now. 
Put a shot in near them. I reckon they'll hightail it. They're only ranch hands. Just watch the sheep. Give him a warning shot. Something close enough to make him cut and run. Looks like one of them don't scare too easy. Put another shot in close. He'll get the message. <laughs> yep, that spooked him all right. All right, let's go round him up. <laughs> Come on, let's get down there. Let's go get the strays. You ever work on a ranch, Marston? No. You? No, oh, day here, there, but not much. Those cowboys I know are dumb as trees. How hard could it be? I guess we'll soon find out. Let's get these things. Bring them back to the yards. They're pretty scattered. Let's get them all rounded up. Okay, then. All right, I think we got them all. Let's head to town. You know what? Marston, why don't you leave the sheep to me? You ride Shank, keep watch for any trouble. I brought you in on this. It'll be quicker this way. Trust me. This ain't the right time for you to be learning how to hurt. All right, whatever you say. I'm done arguing. Go, go. Easy. Yeah, look out! Quickest route back to Valentine is right around that mountain. Okay. Like I said, I'll handle this. There you go! Keep moving! Yeah! You got it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 Well, 
Close her up, boys. There you go. Fine sheep. They're okay. Well, you seen better around here? I've seen ones with less ambiguity about their provenance. <laughs> A lot less. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say you give me 25% kickback, and I won't say nothing to nobody. Everything all right here? Excuse me? Sure. I'll excuse you for 25%. You want me to put another hole in your head? Folks swing for rustling livestock. 25 percent. 15. 20. 18. Done. Calm yourself, friend. Just think of it as I'm buying your sins. Uh, you're buying, but we're paying. Go on now. Come back after the auction. You'll get your money. Dutch is waiting for us at the saloon. And he is? Thought we was doing the robbing here. Still good money. Well, thanks for all the help with this. <laughs> can't herd, can't swim. Give it a rest, will ya? We ain't kids no more. No, we never really was. <laughs> Not everything, but in the end. I don't believe in absolutes, just shades of gray. Compromise us. Compromise it. Uh, gentlemen. Dutch, Lepo. Where have you been? Working. Marston's thing. Good. And? We're just waiting to get some pay on a few sheep. Leopold, my good friend, as long as you're here, why don't you and John go make sure there ain't no funny business? Of course. Gentlemen. Drink? Sure. <clears throat> Nothing like talking to old Strauss to make you want to blow your own brains out. I should have left him where I found him all those years ago. Bookish little Austrian, fresh off the boat, his eyes out on stalks. Well, I guess the Dutch Vanderlyn finishing school has some strange graduates. That it does. To your good health. Thank you. Vanderlyn! What the hell? Vandalin! You don't know me, but you keep robbing me! My name is Leviticus Cornwall. I am not a man to be messed with by the likes of you! Get out here before I have these men killed! What do you think? Get out here, well, I... you depraved piece of trash! You start spinning the yarn, and when I think the moment's you right, I'll make a move. I got where I am by letting Scott not? Like you rob from me? Vandalin, you're done! Now get out here now! Deal with this nonsense. Please, gentlemen, this is a terrible mistake. This is a case your mistaken identity. What is worse than admonishing a man for the sins of another? Who wants to be the Messiah? Not me. Nor do I want to be this Dutch.
I will push the wagon. Arthur, shoot someone! I'm trying! Get behind the wagon as we push, Arthur! You can use it as cover! Nobody's following us. We'll get back to camp. We're gonna gather the troops and get them to start packing up. Ugh. Sure. We can't stick around after this. Let's go! <laughs> Alright. I better get out of here.
Welcome back. Hello, Arthur. So, we keep heading east. Is that the plan? For now. And when do we stop? When we reach Paris? Well, that'd be nice. Join the commune. So, we moving? Yeah. We stop when we find some place sensible, shake them that's following us, and lie low. This is lying low? We turned into a bunch of killers. I mean it. We ain't even got the delusion of being anything but a bunch of killers. We are just trying to survive, Hosea. We don't have a choice. This will end soon. Damn right it will. Constipated as usual. Micah told me of a place we can lie low. Look here. Dewberry Creek, he said. Okay. Maybe you and Charles can go take a look, clear off anyone you find before the whole lot of us move in looking so conspicuous. And how are we gonna do that? I don't know. Start dancing? Looks like I turned into a goddamn errand boy. You have turned into my son. You worry because I worry. We are just the same. Hey, Charles, come on. I need you for something. Sure, this can wait. Spot to camp. We're packing up and moving on. Again? We have to. Fast. We'd already pushed our luck too far before that mess we just made in Valentine. Ah, uh, that didn't sound good. Uh, killed a lot of law. Killed a lot of Cornwall's men. They must know where we are by now. We're heading south? Yeah. Area called Dewberry Creek. Dutch wants us to give it a look. Make sure it's clear and a good place to lie low for a while. I've only known him a few months, but the way he talks, I never thought I'd see him wanting to head south. Right. And I know by now, there ain't no lying low. There's too many of us for that. And... There ain't no way Dutch is gonna just hide away in a cave somewhere. Goes against everything he stands for. That'd be admitting we're nothing more than low-down criminals. Which we are. You don't have to tell me. So where does it end? Where does what end? The moving, the running. Dutch don't see it as running. Call it what you want. I don't know. Before, put enough time and distance between you and the problem, Eventually, it went away. I mean, this is a big country. But now, with these Pinkertons, better paid bounty hunters, I ain't so sure. Maybe the price on our heads got too big. Yeah, they've certainly got money behind them. They've got Cornwall's money behind them for one, which guarantees even more trouble. I think that must be it up ahead. The old dried up creek. Seems very open. <laughs> yeah, it does. Ain't sure to be the best in the rain, neither. Well, let's take a look around. Hey, I see something over there. You see it? Someone on the ground there. He's been shot. Looks like trouble got here before us. Hmm. There's a camp just up ahead. Sure. Let's get ready for business. All right, Charles, let's go take a look. Look, here it is. A few tents, but the place looks empty. 
Let's have a look around and make sure. Come, be careful. I'm being careful. of it. Can we just... I wouldn't do that if I were you! Don't kill him! <clears throat> Two old plantation houses. You do not want to see this. Closer now. Closer. I'm gonna kill somebody. And if you don't stop hissing at me, I'm gonna kill you! 